Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Civilization VI as Agro Brazil, I guess? Yeah, I mean, I think we've actually only declared war on somebody once, and that was to get a settler from Spain, which I think turned into Brasilia over here. I could be wrong, but I think I declared war on him very, very early in the game. And since that time, I think... I might have declared war on Japan for Tokyo, but I actually thought he declared war on me and I just took Tokyo as a result of that. So I honestly think I've declared war once. And yet everybody thinks I'm a warmonger. And people just keep declaring war on me anyway. So, yeah. Don't know if I initially intended to go aggro. But, I mean, they're going to declare war on me. I'm going to get something out of it. So, you know, first war, I got... Uh, I'm trying to remember. I think... Uh, what was it? Persia right here? He declared war on me first. I took these two cities. At the same time, I had declared war on Spain just to take his settler. Japan settled here. Either I declared war on him, he declared war on me, whatever. I took Tokyo from that exchange. There's a few other war declarations here and there that I think I just defended. Took some stuff. Eventually, I just finished off Persia because, again, he declared war on me. Spain declares war on me. I took out these two cities from him. And that's kind of where we're at. Um... Alexander's not very happy with me because I'm not at war right now, even though I just literally a turn ago was in war. Um, but also, Alexander's pretty weak right now. He's going against uh, Rabia. He's at war with Rabia right now, and he has basically no army. Now, I'm right next to these cities right here, the city right here with all these units. Um, I could possibly put an artillery piece back over here somewhere and hit this encampment. But until I got this encampment out of the way, I wouldn't be able to send an artillery here to get this city. So, all in all, going this route is probably not going to happen. So, what I think I'm going to do is move all my units back over here to, like, the Sparta side of things. All this flat terrain right here. I may have to knock out Auckland on my way. Which is fine. It's very, very easy to get to because of all the flat terrain around it. But, I think I declare war on Alexander work my way over to his capital which mm, man this city would be pretty easy this one wouldn't be too bad this one I think would be okay I think we can get all the way to uh, Pella uh, yeah I mean it's just so much flat terrain I think we'd be all right he has like no military like I said I don't know how far we got I don't know if we get Chalkadiki or not but it would be a probably pretty good idea to get that one so that we're set up against Cairo but anyway, all to say, um, yeah, we're kind of playing a little aggro. Just because that's kind of how the cards have been dealt so far. So first things first, let's get let's get set up over here. Um, do I just set up here and go after Auckland? I could set up here. Wouldn't be able to hit that though. One, two, three, no. Is there a place that I could set up to be able to hit all three of these things? I don't see it. So what I do is set up here and here. This uh, grove. No, I don't think I like that. I'm okay with the hill being able to hit like this thing and any units coming out. And then probably somewhere down here. Maybe this hill. Or this plains or something. Oh, he's got forest there and he's got hills there. I think I have to sit up on this hill to be able to hit Auckland. So, okay, so we're going to set the, this artillery piece over here to Auckland. We're going to move this artillery piece back. It's a little bit dangerous to move it away from Tokyo. But we're still going to keep a few of these uh, field cannons down here. So I think that's all right. Yeah, I think that's all right. So this guy moves up to like maybe this one. Start pounding on the uh, encampment here. Um, you go ahead and heal up. You can start moving over this way as well. So maybe set you in this force so you can take a couple shots against this pikeman right away. Assuming it doesn't move. I think I'm okay with that. Uh, you can upgrade, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go ahead and fortify till healed. 
We do have this core right here, which if we're going to go war up there, I think it's important to bring him into the mix. So probably... Fold this guy over to there. And I don't know. That, that's just like defending my entire Japanese front basically by himself, so... No, I think we're okay. I think we just leave everything that's on the borders here. These are okay. That one right there is fine. I may move him back once we actually start the war. But between uh, the two artillery pieces, uh, once I get all three of these field cannons over there, and then the uh, musket man, I think that's probably all we're going to need for Auckland and all these guys. We'll see. We'll get a little bit closer and we'll make a decision. Alright, next turn. 19 turns on this Venetian arsenal. Oof. Yeah, I would really like that. I sing heartiest congratulations on the productivity of your people. But you don't look very congratulatory. Got a couple uh, industrial zones coming up. That's going to be really nice. You are the worst. You're untrustworthy. This is the worst kind of violence. Sorry? Not sorry? Really? All right, you're going to give me some tea, some gold, for two luxuries. Oof. Would you give me a lot more gold? Oh, you've only got like three gold per turn anyway. And then what about, I don't know, like 200 gold. Oh, not 2,000, 200. No. What about 100 gold? All right, you do that. So let's split the difference again. Okay, you can do that. Split it again. Mm, okay. Too rich for your blood. 170? Nope. 165. Come on. Give me something. Really, is it going to be exactly 155? 155. Three gold per turn. Plus, you are going to give me a luxury as resource as well, which is nice. I know you're having some troubles right now with barbarians, so do I want to give this to you and let you get rid of your barbarians? Kind of really just want your tea and your gold, so I think I'm okay with that. I'm not really too worried about you in the grand scheme of things, although you are getting stronger. Hmm. We'll see. Really? Denouncing me as well? Because I'm a warmonger. Oh, of course. All right, you are fully healed. Um, you're gonna come over to kind of this neck of the woods over here, I think. Just start, just for starters. Let me move you around once we get over there. Um, yeah, let's just repair the easy things real quick. Get a little bit of culture from it, might as well. Caravel, I could upgrade you to an ironclad, which would be really nice, but... I would really want to have the upgrade uh, discount if I was going to do that, which I might actually do just for a turn or a couple turns just to be able to uh, pop out the artillery, the art, uh, not the artillery, the uh, caravel and the musketman upgrades. So yeah, I think I'm going to try and stop this thing at one turn, move over to something else. Once that occurs, do the gold upgrades and then flip back. If I remember. So in that case, you're going to actually just kind of stand alert right here until I'm ready to upgrade you. Don't really need to explore anymore. Um, one turn on my library. All right, next turn. I need to go ahead and max out my trade routes as well as soon as possible. Great people. We're still very much in the lead on the scientists, so I'm happy about that. 
Screen engineer I th would be kind of nice. That would be really nice. Get a bunch of amenities for regional buildings. And if nothing else, keeping it from India. That's also really nice. Man, we're halfway there. So I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be enough. More of the walls are coming up, though. It does look cool seeing these things get built like this. Success! Stole 900 gold. I'll take it. All right, choose production. Um, University? Power plant? Six tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six. It'll help Porto Alegre. Will not help Maneo, so eh, maybe it's bad positioning, but I think I'm okay. I mean, if I put one there, it'll help all three of these, so. Um, university or power plant? Well, the university actually gives me housing, which helped me grow a little bit more. So let's start with that one. Um, I will upgrade you shortly, but for now, go ahead and move over I don't know, this direction. All right, trade routes. Do I send more people to Tokyo? Is it going to matter? I think I'm all in. So let's let's go ahead and move you to Tokyo. All right, spy. You got me some gold, which is amazing. Do I steal technology now? Or do I just do more gold? Let's try technology. All right, same thing. Let's just let's just go all in on the Tokyo. City is starving. Really? Oh, because I was counting on some of the food from the trade route. Fair enough. Is there any way to focus on food? Looks like there is. It's not great, but it is something. All right, siphon gold, promotion. Oh, I should have promoted you before I did that. Hmm, can I cancel mission? Uh, oh well, okay, I should have done that first, that's all right. I mean, a lot of these guys have, you know, cities on the coast, but not a lot of, like, capitals on the coast, it looks like. Where is your capital, India? Wow, Russia. A lot of, uh, a lot of knights. I'm not really seeing very many capitals on the coast, so... Now, granted, a lot of these other cities could be, uh strong enough to build uh, build this Venetian arsenal on their own because I mean, obviously that's what I'm doing. I'm not building it in my capital but usually the capitals are the strongest ones so I don't know. We'll see if we can get it built. It's good to see this encampment healing up just for when we go to our battle here in a little bit. Alright, more production. Everything's still two gold is, or two production is the highest. Oh no, we got to go back to... Oh no, Madrid is new. So let's get that three production in there. More food. Um, so two. This is two eight. But no, I don't want to do that because that is going to put me right there on uh, Alexandria. So that's not good. Toronto, two four. There's two seven and Patna. Let's do that one.
Why can't I promote you? Oh, because you're you still on a mis uh, mission. Oh, I have th three captured spies. Wow. Oh, wow. I didn't know you could see all this stuff. That is pretty impressive. All right. Who is this? Madrid. Housing is fine. Everything else looks good. We can go broadcast center, get some culture, seaport. I think we go seaport. Alright, field cannon, you are moving this direction as well. Let's just kind of stick you over here somewhere. We'll figure out the rest once you get there. What was I going to look at? Um, oh, yeah. Let's see if you'll. Will you take a trade back for this guy? What would you give me? Eight gold per turn. Yeah, sure. You can have your supply back. What about the other one? Can I accept this deal? Alright, fair enough. I'll give them to you later. I give you them as a gift, but eh. Not that nice. Five gold per turn. Would you go up to eight gold per turn? I don't think you have that much gold. What about some a chunk of gold? Really? None? Alright, five gold per turn. We'll take something for it. Why not? He's just sitting there doing nothing. You're probably just building another spy anyway. Well, maybe you can. I think there's a limit on how many you can build. So maybe the fact that I haven't captured means you can't do it. Don't snoo. I haven't actually had that many captured. Alright, two turns on natural history, so we'll pause it in one more turn. If I remember. Hopefully I do. Going to war against Arabia would be kind of dangerous because they do have a... Okay, well, now he's denouncing me anyway. He may go to war with me and uh, solve, or save me the trouble. But anyway, going to war against him would be a little dangerous because has, he has a couple pretty strong cities over here by my stuff. I would want to stick uh, you know, a couple field cannons around here or something just to defend long enough to do something to him, I guess. I think I'd really like to have a third artillery piece and then make them all three cores as well. It's a lot of units I gotta train up then if that's the case. I am the worst. Five turns on my battleship. All right, natural history. We're going to swap off of you. And I guess take Scorched Earth. We could take this one, Opera and Ballet. Get a couple of envoys there. I mean, it's a thing. Yeah, let's do that. Five turns, I like it. Or actually, I could do four turns back here. Kind of a completionist. I don't really like leaving that thing open, to be perfectly honest. Nah, let's do the upper ballet. It actually is, is something for me. The two envoys. Alright, production. Uh, yeah, let's just kind of go down the industrial line. To really boost up my production abilities, I think. Then get the seaport, maybe.
that literally everything I can do this turn? Appears to be. 13 turns. Alright, next turn. So in five turns, we'll be able to upgrade this guy and that. We do need to get probably at least one more melee unit out just to have some safety in case I lose one. And then, of course, we need to make them cores as well. So pretty much as soon as these power plants come out, I'm probably going to be building quite a few uh, melee units from these two cities while the other ones get to a point where they can start focusing on the, uh, the naval stuff. Wow, and he's got a lot of a lot of troops over here. Helicopters. Those are kind of scary, actually. They're pretty cool looking, though. Not attack choppers, but they are. Uh, well, I mean, they are because they got a lot of guns on them, but they're not like, I guess, Apaches or anything. I guess they're Hueys. Hueys, right? Is that how you say that? Oh, lost my alliance. Kind of want that back. Just because I really don't want you to be, like, going to war with me. Okay, cool. Thank you, sir. Right, sounds good. Alright, artillery set up to be able to attack at least that and a few other things. So, you're good there. Um, chemistry in one turn. Actually, you know what? We're going to go ahead and put a cut in here. Um, I do appreciate you watching, and I hope you join me next time. Thank you, and goodbye.